Here we go with today's Mostly Interesting. Burger King is serving up an interesting menu item in Thailand. Maybe you've seen this one. According to the company's Facebook there, they sell a burger with nothing but cheese. No meat, just cheese. 20 <laughs> slices of American cheese between two buns. On the post, they call it the real cheese burger. They're only <laughs> selling this for a few days. Our question is, doesn't this make this a grilled cheese sandwich? Also, there's no way 21 slices is that high in no. real life. No. No. And it's American cheese. I love cheese so much, and this does not appeal to me in any way whatsoever. No, not American cheese. No, thank you. No, thank you. But somebody's probably on a plane to Thailand right now, Maria. <laughs> Could be the first stop. Yeah, and in Thailand they could be like, "Wow, this is what Americans eat." Yeah, <laughs> gross. <laughs> We're the Florida of the world. Everyone's just like, "What are they doing there?" Ew. Yeah, no, American cheese in that wrapper. It's not even really cheese. Well, hopefully it's not. They took it out of the wrapper. Oh, that's why I don't like it, Maria. <laughs> Who knew? Now we know. <laughs> Try it again. Almost maybe. Try I'll it without like the it. plastic and report back. I learn something new every day. All right. You could play the lottery and hope to win a million bucks, or you could take a walk in the field. You'll see why. Recently, <laughs> more than 700 rare coins were found in a cornfield in Kentucky. They date back to the mid 1800s, and they're estimated worth two million bucks. Ooh, nice, huh? The numeristic guarantee company grades the coins and they don't know how the coins got there. They could have been buried by a wealthy person during the Civil War, but they just really don't know. The other mystery is who found them or how they were found. That information, very much like the people who win the lottery, has not been <laughs> disclosed. I like that it's called the Great Kentucky Horde. Mm hmm. Would you? Well, no, obviously you would not if you found something like that disclosed who you are. Did you know? <laughs> Kate's looking at me like, I don't know where she's going with this, but gosh, I hope it's okay. <laughs> Last time we ended up with a moth we couldn't identify. <laughs> so, <laughs> taking up my whole day. Go ahead. Did you know if you found gold in New York State, like gold nuggets, just by chance, not like gold coins, but gold nuggets? that it belongs to New York State. Yeah, right, you have to, to tell you. them, right? Or you're yeah. supposed to disclose that? You, you are supposed to disclose that. Now, whether, or do, whether you do or not, that's up to your conscience. I will disclose because Franco was a witness. I found a penny during the most Buffalo story of the day today on the street. You are gonna claim that on your tax form? Of course. I know. I'm a very honest person. Of course you are. We'll be right back.